Hey, I'm Alec, and this is how you make ABS juice, glue, and slurry. Before you start, here are the materials you'll need. A ruler or a digital scale that can measure in grams. ABS filament or scrap ABS prints. Acetone. Cheap brushes like acid shot brushes. Wire cutters or snips resealable glass jars or plastic containers that don't react with acetone, and a measuring cup or a measuring syringe. For ABS glue, take your spool of 3mm ABS filament and measure out 50 centimeters of it, or measure 5 grams of scrap ABS prints. For ABS glue, measure out 100 centimeters of your filament, or 10 grams of scraps. For ABS slurry, measure out 250 centimeters of ABS filament, or 25 grams of scraps. Measure out 50 milliliters of acetone using your measuring cup, or in this case, a syringe. Use wire cutters or snips to cut the filament into small pieces, that way they'll dissolve quicker. Cover the jar and shake up the mixture to help dissolve the filament inside. Leave the jars covered for several hours, or in the best case, leave it overnight. You'll know that your mixture came out right, depending on its consistency. ABS juice is used to adhere ABS prints to your bed. ABS juice should have a consistency similar to milk. ABS glue is used to attach two separate prints together, or to repair and attach part of a print that broke off from the rest. ABS glue should have a consistency similar to white school glue. ABS slurry is used to blend seams between two prints, or to repair layer separation. ABS slurry should be like a thick paste, like taffy or putty. With these three concoctions, you are more than ready to handle printing with ABS. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.